Hey everybody, Timmy Flyers guy here to tell you about my show, Classic Flyers Theater, officially on my YouTube channel. Classic Flyers Theater air, airs every Tuesday and every Thursday on the Timmy Flyers guy YouTube channel. So Classic Flyers Theater, we travel back to the glory days of Flyers hockey. We take an in-depth look at the glory days of Flyers hockey as well. In classic Flyers theater, you can travel back to the good old days when Flyers hockey was on the rage. Classic Flyers theater features a lot of classic games, classic clips, and classic moments in Flyers history. So make sure you check out classic Flyers theater exclusively on the Timmy Flyers Guy YouTube channel every Tuesday and every Thursday. So make sure you check it out and travel back to the glory days of the Philadelphia Flyers. It's me, Timmy Flyers guy, and welcome to Flyers Minor League Report. I'm your host, Timmy Flyers guy. When we last left off, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms faced off against the Belleville Senators. The, fa the uh, Belleville Senators got the first goal, but it was Cooper Morody who got the first goal for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. To tie the score of it one to one. And then it was Belleville who took a 2 1 lead. Cooper Marody then tied it up once again in the second period. But Belleville was able to get the third goal, giving Belleville a 3 2 lead. In the third period, the Phantoms pulled the goalie for the extra attacker, and it was Cooper Marody who got his third goal to complete the hat trick. Tying the score up at 3-3. Three three. Going into overtime, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms had a big penalty kill, and they killed it off. And it was Ronnie Adder who got the game, game-winning goal in overtime, giving the Phantoms a 4-3 victory over the Belleville Senators. Today, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms will face off against the Utica Comets. The Phantoms will be looking to, to get their first win of the season against the Utica Comets. The last time they played the Comets, it was a loss at Utica. Meanwhile, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms were not the, the... Meanwhile, the Redding Royals... Sorry about that, folks. The Redding Royals were in action as well, facing off for the second time this weekend against the Newfoundland Growlers. Evan Barrett got the first two goals, and then it was Max Newton to get the third goal for the Royals. The Growlers quickly fought back, but it was Shane Seller really fought back, but it was Shane Seller who got the fourth goal for the Reading Royals, but 
eventually the new from my growlers tied up the squirt for four. Uh, eventually the squirt was tied up at four to four. Going into overtime, it was Evan Barrett who completed the hat trick with the overtime game winning goal, giving the Royals a five to four victory over the Newfoundland Growlers. Today, the Reading Royals will face off against the Newfoundland Growlers once again. I'm Timmy Flyers Guy, and this has been your Flyers Minor League Report. Let's go Phantoms, and let's go Royals.